We have our fish, we have our chefs. Let's go. I'm ready to go, let's get it on. There's tiny little bones. Use the knives in the proper way and you'll get proper results. This is Blade Masters and I'm Chef Joe Friday. And we're about to find out who has the best knife skills in Toronto. The winner gets the Shogun Series and a cash prize. And don't forget, a knife bag. We got Chef Ginny. She's an amazing chef, private chef, been cooking all around the world. We got Chef Harrison Hennig. Multiple restaurants. This guy is the beast. Blade Masters, let's get it! We're back, Blade Masters, round two. And we got Chef Ginny. She destroyed her competition the first round. And this round, let's see what she's got up her sleeve for Chef Harrison, also back. And both competitors have a chance to win the Gladiator Series, the Offset Nigiri. Looking for a new owner? Which one will take the prize? Here we go, guys. We got the secret ingredient. I'm not sure if these chefs ever used this fish before, but it's a very, very popular fish. Where I'm from in North Carolina, we have Atlantic Ooh. Soul. Yes, it's a flatfish okay. with four loins. Are you guys ready? Yeah. I'm ready to go. Let's get it on. Here you go, Chef Ginny. Here's Chef Joe. Here you go, Chef Harrison. Now, let's reveal what's in your knife bag and see which knives you're gonna use. So Ginny got the Gladiator Series, bony knife, super flexible, but this, you can see a lot of fishermen hold this knife on their boats. Yes, he's going the same exact route, both Gladiator Series. This is more of a stiffer bony knife. It gets straight cuts. This one bends, so you can flex up in there. All right, guys, here we go. We have our fish, we have our chefs. Let's go. Okay, Chef Ginny. Have okay. you ever done any soul? It's been many years, don't, many, many don't years. Don't slow down on my behalf. I think taking the tail off might have been a mistake. Oh. Well, pulling on the tail, like when I'm doing a, a full salmon, I'd keep the tail on. All the fish in the sea have a different anatomy, breaking down always a bit different. Okay, you're going that route. A good dish that I like, I like to have soul almond bean, super classic, beautiful dish. So I like your style. Okay. You like to break it down to the very minimal and then go from there. You see everyone, these competitions aren't necessarily all about speed. Sometimes understanding and knowing what you're doing is important just to do it right. Bone in the middle is so delicate. Yeah, use the knife. Use all the knife the way it's designed. It's very flexible. You can definitely get in around the bones of that knife. So there's oh, like wow. a little bit of spine in the center and then go Wiggle the knife up against that really fine center bone there. Yeah. Uh, so Harrison, taking a, a funny leader from the Pro City. I've done, I've done halibut. I've done other flatfish. It's a little bit different. It's a tiny, tiny little fish, but same, same concept. And I've was shown halibut one way, and that's just the way that those are all the right steps. Can't go wrong. Yeah. With cutting a tail and a head off a fish, it's a good way to start. I don't necessarily cut it off. I just kind of cut it, cut it here, so I can get a, a good split, so the fillet comes off. And I don't worry about taking off the spines now because I use it, especially on such a small fish. Mm -hmm. You want to have more to hold on to, so I just clean the spines off afterwards. Interesting, you know, like we've been through a couple rounds of this, and we see chefs different skill sets, and the proper way to use a knife is to allow the knife to do what it's supposed to do. And both of you guys are doing that. Like, you know, using a bony knife that bends for a reason. You're getting the perfect fillets because you're able to lay the knife flat and bend it so you can go right down the fillet, which is absolutely perfect. I like the fact that they're both uh, using the knives in the right way. You use the knife the way it's accordingly be used. You know, there's a vegetable knife, there's a bony knife, there's a chef knife. You use the knives in the proper way and you'll get proper results. Uh, definitely getting to know the Dow Strong knives as I'm working, as well as the anatomy of the fish. Um, but when it comes to be such a small fish, there's tiny little bones that you have to be careful of. You definitely don't want to be serving the guest. Yeah. They're very careful. Also, you can leave the skin on because like it, there's so little meat. The skin literally just peels off after you cook it. So that can happen um, just after it comes out of the pan, right? Having clean edges. Yeah. With your butchery, it's so vital with presentation. This right here doesn't go to waste. This right here 
stock. They say you can make stock, we call it fume. A beautiful like fish stock. Here we go guys, it's judging time. So Jane got her eight pieces, which looks great. Hair, skin, skin on this one. No skin, skin, skin. These are all great fillets. There's one without skin, so there's only one with lacking consistency. And this one has a little bit more bones on the, on the edge, so that's the fin. Overall, this is a really good. This will be used in a restaurant for service. You think so? This is amazing. I'm gonna give Jenny an overall a 7.8. Uh, I think this is a really good job. Meaning it for me above a seven. This is really good. All right, here we go. We're on Chef Harrison's side. Good job overall. You got with some 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 nice consistent strips here. Basically, the chef set the standard, and I follow through to see if that standard is upheld. And honestly, it's, it looks pretty good in here. I would say the only setback I think was this one. It was a little bit more bones here. Skittle all these so you can use them for the same application. But this one is a kind of a discrepancy here. So I'm gonna have to give Chef Harrison a 7.8. It's a tie? Yeah, I guess it is a tie. So we'll see at the finals. And uh, no more of that at the finals. <laughs> I'll try my best, Chef. All right. All right, looks like we have a tie here, guys. Both chefs had great, great product. They took their time to get exactly what they wanted. Discrepancies on both sides. No one got a 10, obviously. A little twist, a little turn here. But they'll both get a knife today. And then we'll see who takes the cash prize on the final round. Let's get it.